I was very appalled by the, the comment of the era representative from Collet. Um, I, I don't think that's something he should be extremely happy about. Um, the issue of fighting crime is everybody's business and for you to be in the house criticizing the police for not um, being effective on, on crime and here you are as a area representative being paid by the people of this country you have information not just of a crime but of a woman being raped and to say that you will not or you did not share the footage with the police I, I think that it is a sad moment for us and um, you are basically saying to the nation that you are, you are a contributor to the crime problem because you, you can't expect that the police is going to be everywhere and uh, if you want to criticize the police, you give the police information and if they do nothing with it, then you can criticize them. But for you to have the information that could help the police in solving this crime and you, you, you do not do so, then you, you are a part of the problem. Is there anything the police uh, can do to force him to surrender the surveillance footage? Well, I know now and I have already given instructions to the investigators to go and request it from him. And if you do not provide it, Section 20, I think, of the Indictable Procedures Act give the police the power to be able to use a search warrant and go and retrieve the footage. So the police will be doing that to make sure that we get the footage um, with a view to see if we can stop that crime.